What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So, let's go over this, man. Um, what an episode, bro. This is a great episode. And usually the Atwater episodes be really good. Like, like my favorite episodes are, are the Atwater episodes, the Tories episodes, the Upton episodes, and sometimes the Void ones, too. Like, that Void one looks crazy next week. That one looks good, but... Man, Chicago PD, in my opinion, I don't think they've had a bad episode in, like, the last four seasons, bro. I, I really don't. Like, i say maybe three or four seasons they haven't had a bad episode yet. Uh, me and my friend be talking about this all the time, bro. Like, how Chicago PD is, like, damn near perfect every damn week. You know, I know a lot of people are talking about that, like, True Detective series. Night Country, bro. No, man, Chicago PD is the best out there, bro. Y'all need to really watch this, man. Y'all need to watch Chicago PD, bro, because Chicago PD is not your average broadcast procedural, bro. It is fire, you know what I mean? And this is how I know Chicago PD is really good because Upton wasn't, I don't believe Upton was even on this episode, and I didn't even notice she was not there because usually, like, if you got really good writing like that, you're not even paying attention to really the characters, bro. Except the main, obviously the main character on the show that's in this episode was Atwater. But everybody else is like a side character. Like, you ain't even paying attention. Like, I I did not realize until after that show was off. Like, someone told me that Upton wasn't on the episode. Like, I'm like, I just realized that like, Upton really wasn't on this episode. So, I think they're going to be okay without Upton next season. They're going to be okay. And Upton is one of my favorite characters, man, so... I'm still going to have to get used to that, not seeing her, but, like, it, it's, it's you know, I think they're going to be okay next season. But, anyways, in this situation, this was a great episode, man. But Atwater kind of messed up, like, Torres to me, where, you know, he kind of messed up this case a little bit, man. Um, and he was feeling a little bit guilty. And his father, I think having his father in the episode was really good because his father kind of reminded him if he let this uh, stuff, this guilt stuff, you know, kind of eat you up, it will eat you up. So... Um, and Atwater had a little guilt about the guy who got shot, you know, but the thing for me was the guy who got shot at the door, he was not supposed to have gotten up, man. He made the mistake. He actually got the other guy killed because he got up in the, you know, cause the, the robbers, they got scared. They got shook. So they shot both guys and he was trying to run to the door and he got shot and Atwater felt like he had a chance to save him so he was trying to hit you know use the hammer to break the bulletproof uh glass door down it just wasn't working so then late in the episode Atwater really couldn't sleep and he ended up going back into the jewelry store and he found a key that would have opened up the door and it just it, it kind of it ended like that man i was like damn bro so it just felt like, you know, Atwater was feeling guilty, man. And we really hadn't seen Atwater like too many times where he was in a situation where he was feeling guilty about a case. Um, really, none of the cops, because like, yeah, there are some cases that stick with those cops. But like, you know, for that one to like still kind of linger in his mind, you know, that he could have saved the guy because he asked one of the, I think it was a forensic guy earlier in the episode, could he have made it or whatever? Um... And, he, and the guy told him, yeah, he, he was reluctant to tell Atwater, but he, he finally told him, like, yeah, he could have survived. Atwater, man, that kind of, like, duped Atwater all the way down. Like, damn, I could have saved this dude, you know. So, it's, um, as of right now, it's really crazy stuff right now, man. So, really crazy stuff. These last two episodes have been something, man, with him and Torres. Because Torres and him don't usually mess up like that. You know what I mean? They don't usually have anything where... They let everything bother them, man. So, it's been crazy the last couple of weeks, man, with this, man. But, uh, give me your thoughts, man. This next, this next, this episode next week with Void look crazy, man. It look crazy, man. But go ahead and give me your thoughts on this. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. One thing that I'm waiting for also is Rube's ex wedding. I can't wait for that wedding, bro. I can't wait for that. After seeing what Chicago Fire gonna do next week for, for Casey and Brett, I can't wait to see the birth egg wedding, bro. I can't wait to see it, bro. But go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.